Hi guys, so today we are going to take a look at a component review of some of the amazing components that Cult of Game have put out for Robinson Crusoe. So this is one of my all time favourite games, I think it's thematic, it's got strategy, it's just an all round awesome game. Um, I really like Preta Porter of Ignacy's uh, work but this is probably the best Euro blending of a merry trash, or thrash as it's called now, than you can find. Um, it's such a lovely game that I felt that it did deserve a pimping out. So I went onto the Cult of Game website, which I'll put in the link um, as well. And uh, this is a gentleman who lives in New Zealand. And I think he is a professional artist and he makes um, some really beautiful pieces for it. And there are photos on the Cult of Game website, but I think sort of seeing them actually moving around, uh, sometimes they're so stylized the photos, they almost look like renders. Um, and hopefully, <laughs> with my crappy high glare on this, uh, on this um, board game, we will be able to see some content. So, um, you can see they do, on the whole, fit into the board game box. This is the old... Uh, Portal Games edition. This is not the Z-Man edition, so it's slightly broader. And obviously, this is um, some hodgepodge of a um, of a phone core insert that I've done. So first things first, um, the white and the black cubes to sort of express just markers really have now been replaced by these little uh, crates. So this is all made with polymer clay, which is a uh, Fimo to the Brits amongst us, if you know it. So they're only small. If I just draw in a little white cube as a comparison, you can see they are broadly the same, maybe a bit smaller. Um, and they're quite low detail, I suppose, but they're really, really lovely. They're lovely to feel. They've got a decent weight to them. And um, they do the job perfectly for marking which are the next things available for an invention. Um, when you have your first sort of... Uh, if I just show you how it would look. When you have your sort of uh, shipwreck cards, as it were. When you have those, that would be something as well that you can mark up really really nicely so uh, I think they really really lend themselves well to the game in fact in some ways they work better than white cubes um, well they completely work better than white cubes you can see there the two little uh, crates so that's the crates they also uh, this gentleman also does some snazzy stones which um, work really really well these are sort of I think more designed for the bits where you're using the black cubes to represent that there's um, a tile which is now sort of shut off so if we were to put that oh, we can't quite see it Oops, sorry smooth <laughs> so I'll just zoom out ever so slightly so uh, these little stones sit on there uh, like so Sorry for the colour cast, it's not the best light. And you can see with my incredibly pink hand here that you have the these kind of cool stones and they are sort of textured on one side and then completely flat on the other so they sit perfectly on the board. And again, they're roughly, a bit, bit bigger actually, but roughly the same size as the black cubes. So these are some of the basic bits. Uh, one of my personal favourites, actually, although it's not something I, I think he gets a great deal of demand for, uh, but I just think they look wonderful, um, are health trackers. So basically this is a guy, he's gone through and he's replaced all of the components um, that, that are represented by cubes. So uh, these are dirt cheap, actually, for him. I, I guess they don't take a great deal to make, but... I don't know. I think that looks really cool. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, there's the soldier. And there's the little heart. You probably can't see it because it's not focused brilliantly. You can actually see little holes for the arteries, which is a bit gross. But a bit cool in the same process. So that's that. And they're the sort of basic cubes that you have. A small pimping of mine, uh, which is not got anything to do with this gentleman, but these are available on eBay really, really easily, um, is to turn the uh, determination tokens into these little compass points, which I think is a nice uh, sort of thing to do. Again, I've zoomed in too far, apologies. So you've got those as an alternative as well. 
Um, the wood is nice. Um, I mean, it's wood. <laughs> There's not that much to say about it. Um, it. It looks pretty cool. Doesn't really fit very well on the um, on the first scenario in terms of stacking. So you probably are going to use the original woods uh, to show that. But you have a nice little bit of wood. It's textured away. It's not showing up brilliantly there, but they are textured. What I think is probably the most exciting are the furs and the food. So showing you the furs, these are just really lovely. Um, and uh, I think he he would do uh, things that if you asked for them, for them specifically. But I mean, I just took a a range, and uh, they just add so much. You compare that to a cube. I mean, they do really add a huge amount to the game, in my opinion, anyway. So you've got zebra, goat, um, antelope sort of thing. I don't know what the middle one is. Tiger, and so on and so forth. And it's fun when you pull, like, a jaguar to try and marry it up. Uh, I still don't know what. Um, which one matches up to the iguana, but never mind. So that's the fur, which I think is fantastic. And then you have these snazzy... Again, we'll zoom out just a smidgen. Um, snazzy food tokens and uh, there's a range of them as you can see so they're split into sort of your uh, your perishable foods so here's a mango there's a papaya on the wrong side so a little papaya uh, coconut um, you've got bananas and they just look really great. I mean, they're muddy bananas because that's what no, they go brown. Um, you have uh, different types of meat as well. So steaks and a chicken leg, which has got a little bite taken out of it, which I think is cool. And finally, I think the last perishable food is the fish. The non-perishable is broken down into smoked fish. So you've got like a side of salmon and it's got a really beautiful texture on it. I mean, the fish is, is sort of got a little bit of glitter in it. That is, can you see the shine on it? It does look like an actual fish. Um, and then, of course, cheese. So, the cheese is, again, you've got to sort of give the camera a chance to focus. You can see the, the rind on the cheese. And then, finally, some nice little bread rolls. So, you've got three types of uh, perishable and, uh, sorry, non-perishable and a really wide range of, um, of, pe uh, of the sort of fresh food. Um... Other little bits and bobs. This is your camp marker, which sits there. So you just pop it on the tile to signify that that's your camp. The way I play it is that you have also this little fire marker made up as well. Um, so that just pops on top when you have built a camp. <laughs> uh, he actually makes another uh, token for the actual camp itself, but I quite like the sort of the signifier that my fire is my proper place. So those are the basics, and I ordered all of these. I fell in love with them. Oh, there was one other in this uh, in this set, which cleverly I can no longer find, and that is the turn marker. So the turn marker again. You have to zoom in on this. So that's the turn marker for the actual event with a little uh, seashells and coconut. You probably can't see it, but got the little dots on it. I mean, look at that's the size of my thumbnail. <laughs> okay, this is not a big piece, uh, and it sits uh, as an alternative to this piece, and it's almost identical in that regard. What you can also get, so after I ordered these, <laughs> I maybe went a bit silly, um, but you can also get some cool other pieces. So these are to represent how far along you are on the track. So this is the wound mark, uh, I'm sorry, weapon marker and it's nice and big and it sits there then you have the palisade marker and again it's very very pretty with a little spear on it the camp marker is pretty huge um, so the camp marker that sits on that space when you build the camp so obviously it wouldn't really fit there it's too big and then finally oh no two more sorry the roof marker that a nice snazzy palm leaves and again just brilliantly textured, quite fragile. Um, you wouldn't want to uh, throw these about, but still wonderful. And then this is the morale track. Okay, so uh, the fires of hope. And again, just really, really cool. 
So I know there's been a decent amount of attention of these things because I mean they're really beautiful to look at. I just thought it was really um, worth shouting about. Um, this is a guy who clearly loves the game and uh, has put a great deal of effort in making these beautiful pieces and personally I mean I sort of did a bit of a leap of faith the photos looked amazing but um, it's very hard to see without sort of some sort of video and um, no, I just thought it was worth showing them off because this is a gentleman who deserves to be uh, applauded for what he does so this is just a short view a video of these components um, I'll put a link to the uh, gentleman's website if anyone's looking to order such some uh, things from him. And um, hopefully you enjoyed watching.